Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's Spider Hero 64 back here again. So, after an atrocious off weekend, you know, we have not had a week of racing. So, yeah, that was something kind of, um. So, yeah, that was something that was kind of weirdish. But, yeah, anyways. Yeah, so, anyways, and then now, so yeah, and now we're back to racing. So anyways, um, yeah, so, so Texas was this, so Texas was this, um, was today, what was this, was this, right, was today's race, I, I cannot talk today, you know what, enough with introductions, let's just get straight into the race. So, Kurt Busch started on the pole after qualifying was cancelled because, 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 because NASCAR is afraid of thunder. And what do you know? And what do you know? Kurt Busch does not do anything throughout the race other than he led 40 laps. So, um, yeah. Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch were the most dominant cars of the day. Not very surprisingly, so considering one, that one, you know, Kevin Harvick and the Ford team had found out the speed they've been looking for. And they did it, and they proved it today. You know? So, um, yeah. So yeah, anyways, let's just talk what's what happened during the first half of the race. Martrix Jr. smacks the wall. Okay, so looks like um no st uh, looks like it'll take a lot more longer for Martrix Jr. to get to get his Texas win. I'm very hoping Martrix Jr. can win at le can at least at least win a race at Texas because it'll be very sad if he doesn't. <sighs> so um, yeah. Also, Kyle Larson hit the wall pretty hard. A lot of hard hits today. I must admit that. Oh, yeah. How can I forget? There was that first wreck on the fourth lap of the race, which um, I, I think it was the first lap of the race. I don't even know. <clears throat> yeah, like Menard, Bowman. What else? Who else? Uh, Ross Chastain and um, a couple other guys. So, yeah, stage one was won by Kevin Harvick, I believe. And, yeah. And then there was a big wreck. On the, and then there was a big wreck that had Eric Amarola, Denny Hamlin, Brad Kozlowski, Jimmy Johnson, I think Trevor Bain as well. Don't really remember. So, um, yeah. So, it looks like Jimmy Johnson's um, curse is, is still going to continue on, you know. And since we're approaching the summer part of the season, Jimmy Johnson is going to take a long time for him to get a win. Man. What has been going on with Jimmy Johnson? Can he win a race already? Can he already just win a, a, a freaking race already? I meant seriously. I meant seriously. You're supposed to be the go of the sport when one, you can't even pull off a good finish. You know? It's just, it's just sad just to see Jimmy Johnson, you know, just load up the car, load up the hauler with a wrecked race car, with the, with a wrecked race car. And Cobbish wins stage two, and well, and uh, who else? Uh, Ka Man, this is just this is just very very hard to talk about, but yes. Yeah, so um, and then, god damn it, what else? Um, not yeah. Also, Ryan Newman um hit the wall, you know, hit the wall. So, um, yeah, so, so, yeah, Ryan Newman is still one of the worst drivers in NASCAR right now. And then, when you, and then, Kyle Busch wins the race. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, so, good for Kyle Busch, I guess. But, you know, me, not the biggest fan of him, but, yeah, but, um, yeah, let's just, I think, there's not much to talk about, really, other than, um, was there any even good racing in this race? I mean, I barely watched. I barely watched this race at all. And was there any good racing at all? I really don't know. But yeah. So yeah. This just so yeah. This just proves how bad Texas is as a racetrack, and how bad these cars are on a track like Texas. I mean, seriously, these Gen Six cars have suck a lot. If you guys do not know, know already. I have to agree with a lot of people. These cars suck. Dong. They 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 suck dong. Yeah. Donkey Dong. So yeah. Anyways, um Donkey Kong's Donkey Dong. So yeah. I meant seriously. I meant 
I mean, there's a reason why a mile, a mile and a half tracks are the worst tracks in NASCAR as of right now, as we speak. 2.5, uh, the 2.5 mile tracks like Auto Club and Michigan are uh, reasonably but good, but Michigan, um, yeah, but then it's not good at all. So yeah, anyways, but yeah, anyways, let's just, oh yeah, you know, so, um, yeah. I just want to take a moment for a little bit and just really just and just really just talk about really the all what's like the what's going on with really with NASCAR, you know? Let's talk let's actually talk about the races throughout this season. So the race, so like um So the Daytona five hundred. In my so let's talk about the Daytona five hundred. The Daytona five hundred like about the races so far this season. Like the Daytona five hundred. In my opinion, what I don't think it was the greatest race ever. I thought it was the most worst Daytona 500 I've ever seen since ever becoming a NASCAR fan. You know, Atlanta, a fluke. A fluke. You know, Kevin Harvick dominated the race and won. Same thing with Vegas. Phoenix, we saw a little bit of good racing. Fontana, I, that's the only good race I could... That's the only good race of the season, I could really say. That was the only. That was just the barely only the good race of the season. Considering one, I've been at this. I've been at the. I watched this race in person, and it was pretty good watching in person. Also, I don't have to deal with Fox's crappy commercial breaks, showing a whole bunch of stupid KFC commercials, which I I'm I'm about to hate KFC right now, and I'm about to just ah. So yeah. Anyways, um. Yeah, and Martinsville, you know, that was pretty good. You know, get this, you know, good, you know, good winner of that race. And then Texas is just, you know, we have this big rack, then we have more racks, then we have more racks, you know, just to make this stuff exciting. There's really a good reason why I did not really, in fact, do and did a NASCAR news discussion video on the Triple A Texas 500, the playoff race. If you guys may. I don't think, if you guys may remember that I did not do a video on that, and I had never explained why I did. There was really nothing to talk about during that race. Really, there was nothing to talk about, really. So that's just, re so that's really the reason why, one, I did not talk about that race, you know. Because, like I said, nothing happened, really, in that race. And, you know, Texas is just becoming, is, the Texas has now become... One of the worst NASCAR tracks on the schedule and needs to get taken off. But, but um, yeah, you know, plus attendance-wise at this track, my God, it is very, very terrible. You know, which is why I predict this. Bristol is not going to have a good crowd. Richmond, it will have a decent crowd. Talladega, maybe, maybe we can get that place sold out. Kansas, uh, no. I think, no, I think after Talladega, it's then Dover, which Dover, I think, will have a good crowd. Kansas will, um, not a good crowd. Not a good crowd at all. The Monster Energy All-Star Race, maybe not a good crowd. And then the 600, I don't know about that, but, yeah, just, yeah. And a few of these next races are a mile and a half tracks, like Kansas and Charlotte, which... They're now becoming the worst tracks on the schedule right now, you know, with the way this is just going, you know. But yeah, and I just checked the my tablet just right now just to see that um, Toronto NASCAR and see Chief Sonic Nine just released their opinions on this race. But yeah, I meant, I meant really. Um, I don't even know why I'm making a video on this. Really, but I just wanted to just go talk about it. So yeah, all right, yeah, but yeah, like I said, NASCAR needs to change these cars desperately. Also, we need more short tracks. Really, I mean, that's just the deal. You know, this is just a fluke. You know, a fluke of a race. The Xfinity race was freaking dominated by Ryan Blaney, and the only good race this weekend that I think was the was the Phoenix Grand Prix. From IndyCar, that was the only good race. That was a fa that was a pretty good race. Exciting finish between Robert Wickens and Joseph Newgarden, and and since and a, hey, I and a hey, the only good Texas race we can expect this year, and that is the IndyCar and that is the IndyCar race from, from um, from Texas. But I'm pretty sure, but um, even though David Land did not even like 
did not even like the, the race from last year. I at least want to watch that IndyCar race that's going to happen at Texas, you know? And no, I'm not going to be there for the... No, I'm not going to be there just for the big wrecks and the whatnot, but... Yeah, anyways, let's just go over the finishing results. So, Kyle Busch finishes first. Kevin Harvick second. Jimmy McMurray third. Good run by Jimmy McMurray, I must admit. Hopefully, he can, he can win a race. Then we have four Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney fifth, sixth, Joey Logano, seventh, Kurt Busch. You know, it's going to take a long time for Kurt Busch to win a race this year. Then we have Darrell Wallace Jr. finishing eighth. Another top 10 finish. You know, then we have Clint Boyer finishing ninth. Tenth, William Byron. So William Byron finally gets his first top 10 of the season. And now William Byron and Darrell Wallace Jr. are neck to neck with the Rookie of the Year standings. So then we have Levin, we have Chase Elliott. Nah, these Camaros suck. The Camaros, the, the Camaros fucking suck. That's the only thing I can say about it. Trevor Bain, 12th. 13th, Ty Dillon. 14th, Mike Waddell. 15th, Chris Buescher. 16th, Matt DiBenedetto. Uh, 17th, Casey Kane. 18th, Ross Chastain. That's a good run by Ross Chastain. Um, 19th, Cole Witt. <clears throat> The 20th, uh, or no, um, 20th is Grey Calling. 21st, Landing Castle. That's the highest ever, um, position that, um, Starcom Racing will ever finish. And then we have Harrison Rhodes, uh, David Reagan, H. Almanigger. That's, uh, 22nd, 24th, 25th, Ricky Senos Jr. Had a bad vibration, so, um, yeah, that's what happened. 26, Austin Dillon. He's not, you know, not going to do anything throughout the rest of the season. Ryan Newman, DNF. Alex Bowman, 28th. You know, I've got Cop in the rack. And then Daniel Suarez, too. Holman R, DNF. And, yeah, these are all the drivers that caught up, that were caught up in wrecks. Reed Sorensen, Eric Almarola, Brad Kisowski, Danny Hamlin, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Larson. Marchuk Jr. finishes last. So, yeah, that's the results. You know, so, um, Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, guys, I'm very, very sorry if this video was pretty boring. You know, you're just basically just listening to me talk. Now, like, yeah, like, the last, the last NASCAR news discussion video that I made on the race, that video got very good views, considering one, I was excited that, that, that Clint Boyer finally won a race, so, yeah, did we see any of that today? No, we just saw Cobbler just win another, just generic race and all that stuff. You know, so, um, yeah. So yeah, next week is Bristol. So um, now will that race be exciting? I don't know, maybe, but um, yeah, hopefully a certain Eric Jones can win that race, or I don't know. Then we have Richmond, and then Talladega. Talladega, I'm like, I'm excited for Talladega, you know. But hopefully we, it won't be like Daytona because you know my opinion on that. So yeah, anyways, um, hopefully, guys, hopefully you guys stuck around and watched this video. If you didn't, leave a like, comment down below. Comment down below, um, what do you thought thought of this race? And, um, with that being said, uh, I will see all of you in the next video, if I ever find NASCAR Authentics, and so I can survive school. So, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye.